Hi, this is a quick and dirty look at uh, how I'm using Stream Deck and Apple Script in order to control the StreamYard experience. And so you can see here on my Stream Deck, um, actually, you probably can't see the buttons very clearly, but if I push my share screen button on my Stream Deck, you can see that that pops up my screen and you can see uh, my configs a little bit. And this is just, this isn't my. Uh, production. I just threw some buttons on here to share with you guys, and uh, I have a my intro music. So if I push that button, that starts my countdown. And then I can also do the second button. There is a segment transition one. And so for any given show, I might have three or four transitions. And so I always name them the same in the Apple script. So I don't have to change the Apple script. And so uh, if I press my segment transition. And then that'll play. And then I can also switch each layout. So at the bottom here, all of my layouts, here's my solo layout. And then my, you know, um, side by side camera views. And then I can do uh, the big with the two little ones and then the screen sharing. And then, of course, the, the big screen. I'm mostly in the screen sharing with the, the sidebars and then this view. And uh, but I can also put overlays on this. So if I want to put my overlay branding. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me go back. And uh, there we go. Uh, I, I used to have these uh, programmed into multi-action, and uh, I'm still still playing with that and tweaking all that. And that's where when we have real hotkeys, uh, that's going to make this stuff a, a lot easier. Um, but but right now, um, branding will will overlay once I'm in this view, and I have these for for you know the two person, the three person, the four person. We don't usually uh, have more than four in in our shows, um, but then I can take that branding off. And then switch back to uh, the the screen sharing view, and uh, I guess that is a multi action because uh, still. Uh, but anyway, um, I also have in here my Elgato stream lights. I can turn those on and off. Um, I can also set them to different intensities and uh, also different uh, light colors. Um, but right now it's just on and off, and I, I stay I stick with a single one. I also have on my my other stream deck the smaller one uh, is my my soundboard, and I don't have. Uh, that configuration, I, I do have a little demo one, um, but that uses uh, uh, Farago, and so um, I can't. I don't think I can push the button in here. Um, can you test it in here? Yeah. So I, I don't have that uh, connected, but if we go back to my my large screen here, and you can actually just look at the the Apple script, and and what this is doing is. It's just uh, working with the the DOM um, of the the web page, and it's doing all those selects. and uh, And I should say that I, I got the start of this from uh, Neon Pineapple, and so I've I've created a lot more uh, since he started, uh, since he shared this in um, in the the Streamyard community. So if you search for Neon Pineapple, you'll you'll likely find his stuff, and then you can uh, build from that. And I'll I'll share. Uh, I'll package mine up and, and share them out to, to GitHub so that you can download them. But um, but if you search Neon Pineapple, you'll be able to find his, and, and that's where I got my start from. And you can do this in Tamper Monkey, which will run in the browser. I'm just using Apple Script because uh, it's um, you know it's one less thing the browser has to do um, directly, and so it, and I can control it a little better. And and so that's that's what I'm doing with the. Uh, you can also do banners. And, and I don't have any banners programmed in here, but you could launch all your banners uh, in order or one at a time, turn them off, turn them on, uh, play videos, images, background images, anything that you can, uh, that has a selector name, um, you can uh, you can manage. The one thing I'm still playing with is, is guest edition and removal. So if I go back to my, uh, my three person, uh, I should be able to remove guest
tests and, and figuring out exactly how to program them uh, because my actions aren't always uh, doing what I think it should do. It, it's doing um, something differently. And I, I think it's the, the way that you interact with the DOM uh, from e either Tamper, uh, Tamper Monkey or, or Apple Script. So still, that's still a work in progress, bringing guests in and out. Uh, but once it, guests are in, uh, the, the windowing works pretty well. And then I can go to solo view and, and then, of course, back to uh, large screen. So hopefully this is helpful to everyone in the community. I'll share out uh, the Apple script that I have. And then, you know, you can uh, customize and, and build from there. Uh, you know, happy streaming.